Twitter conspiracies, dangerous viral challenges, and oh yeah, it's a Netflix movie. Bird Box continues to spread far and wide, but why does this movie work? Well, let's find out. I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. By now, if you haven't heard of Bird Box, you must be living under a rock or laying low because you have information that would lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. But here's the thing, the buzz may not all be organic. Now, very few people stumbled onto this movie because of commercials or trailers. It was almost certainly the Bird Box memes that have been circulating that drew you in. However, many people claim that the circulation of these memes were generated by Twitter bots paid for by Netflix. And it's not far-fetched given the information from the New York Times a little while back, where they published that, quote, less than 60% of web traffic is human, unquote. But no one really knows for sure. But what we do know for sure is that some internet trolls had some fun with this. And they fought back with hashtag Bird Box Challenge. That challenges people to do mundane everyday tasks while blindfolded, including going up escalators and going through drive throughs To the point that Netflix actually had to release a public warning on The Hollywood Reporter, warning these people who most certainly would not survive the apocalypse to not do this. Shocking. Don't do it. Anyway, is this movie worth the hype? Now, spoilers ahead. As a viewer, this is a 4 out of 5 and as a critic, this is also a 4 out of 5. Now, this movie was good, but I want to break down why it works because I think that's more important. How a movie that never shows its monster can still horrify you, and it's because there is truth. Similar to the fact that all comedy must have an element of truth to it, a really good horror or thriller must also have something true about it. Now, this is, of course, why the left can't meme, and why a movie that relies almost solely on jump scares isn't scary as soon as the next scene starts. Jump scares aren't scary, they're shocking. Bird Box does not do this, and the movie thrills in the psychological and spiritual elements. Take the thriller hit of 2014, The Babadook. Another movie where you basically never see the monster. But this movie works and it still sticks with you long after the credits roll and you leave the theater. It's because the monster, in a sense, is real. The Babadook is symbolic and a manifestation of depression. How it can just latch onto you and destroy you. It's not just a jump scare, it's something that's real, it's true. But why the movie The Bird Box resonates with so many people is because, in a sense, we are all living in The Bird Box. In a material or physical sense, there is no better time to be alive than right now. And yet, we've seen a spike in depressions, addictions, and suicides. This movie kicks off with mass suicides. People literally destroying themselves. Why? Well, in this movie there is a spirit or a demon or a devil and if you see this thing if you focus on this thing it makes you kill yourself it does this by showing you your worst fear the most depressing most sad moment of your life or shows you what you desire most in the world and forces you to focus on it and you kill yourself to either get it or make it stop in our world culturally we are so focused on the wrong thing and as a result we are suffering the consequences now the demon in this movie has no power if you do not look at it and it can't come into your home unless you let it in in the most horrifying moment of this movie wisdom is forsaken for empathy and the devil is literally let in in the form of a wolf in sheep's clothing a lack of discipline caused by the empowering of what feels good at the time can lead to a lot of problems open lifestyles open borders free range hands-off parenting gender fluid education and reassignment none of these will have any consequences because come on guys have some empathy this feels good now that's the problem that's the situation but how do you survive something like this how do you survive in a society where an enemy kills without mercy or discrimination and when we have no true north to focus on instead of it. This is shown so perfectly with Sandra Bullock in the climax of the movie, where she was literally shouting out, calling out, begging to her innocent children to keep their blindfolds on. And the devil, the demon, is speaking to the wind, telling them, take it off, take it off, take it off, it'll be better, it'll be better, it'll be beautiful, it'll be awesome. And the kids are about to do it, they're about to give in and listen to this voice, to abandon what they've been told, to abandon their teaching. But Sandra's still and quiet voice makes it through and they recognize her. As she says, no, listen to my voice, keep your blindfolds on on. Does that sound a little bit familiar? Well, if you read the New Testament, it probably should. Now, this movie is not perfect. It lacks some character development, and this movie is often compared to A Quiet Place, mainly because of the sensory deprivation you experience. But A Quiet Place, in my opinion, is a much better movie, because it's not really about how people die. It's about how a family survives together against all odds. But Bird Box is a well-done movie, even if some of the buzz was artificially created by memes on the internet. You know, allegedly. But go see Bird Box for yourself and let me know what you think. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. Did you enjoy that video? Of course you enjoyed that video. So now you need to become a premium member to the Rebel. That way you have first access to Pure Hollywood and the entire Rebel lineup.